The Foreseen Arcade. Active. Welcome to Galacticare. Heel and I can't wait to get you settled in. I'm Cora Orion, CEO. Uh, technically, anyway. I actually spend most of my time tinkering with designs and tech. It beats corporate negotiation, I promise you. I'm really excited to see how you take to the job. I'll be right behind you, Director. And good luck. Welcome to your very first hospital, Director. Our patients are dying to experience your services, so I'll pass you right over to Heal, an artificial person who's been helping me build Galacticare. He tends to be listening to all comms simultaneously, so I'm sure he'll call you in a jiffy. Talk to you soon, Director. <laughs> Boshi Boshi, Director, and welcome. I shall be aiding your work in various ways over the course of what's sure to be a rich and fulfilling career. If you ever feel lost as we progress, you can review your objectives at the top right of your interface. Let's get this hospital up and running. Here comes a particularly fun section, uh, calibrating sensors and perspective. Uh, we'll be panning, rotating, and even zooming your camera. Both in and out, mind you. Thrilling stuff. Your objectives should be displayed now. If they're not, then everything is broken, and it may be simpler for you to resign. Look at us go, spinning around like a gyro. I feel vaguely ill. Now, there was something else I was supposed to be doing. Oh, yes. Yes, the hospital. Patients and preventing death, profit, and so on. Very well, then. To do healthcare, we will require both a reception desk and a diagnosis room. Let's first place a reception desk. I've highlighted the menu in which you will find said desk. Wonderfully placed. Now all we need is a diagnosis room. Ms. Orion should be calling with the details momentarily. The diagnosis room is our patient's first step on the road to recovery. It's where we evaluate what's gone wrong with their meaty bodies. Also, tiny spinny drones come out of it, which is very cool and entirely necessary. With the room selected, you can now begin to place the blueprint. Choose a starting point, shape it to your desire. Wonderful! Uh, however, an empty room will not by itself facilitate the healthcare. We must first place a door and then the room's required objects. In the case of diagnosis, we need a desk and a display. Your construction display will show you simple, easy methods to improve your room's value. Potted plants are all the rage at the moment. Not my cup of tea, personally. Now, a replica of an XTC 5000 block engine. Well, my word, Director, I'm mere satisfaction from a thought alone. That's the diagnosis room, Millie. Now we'll need a treatment room. Cora will be in touch with the juicy details. Skin! Ah, oh, everything! 
everyone has it. Unless they have an exoskeleton, or nothing at all. The Skin Lab uses proprietary chemicals to coat our patients in a gentle foam, which strips off their outsides and rebuilds them from scratch. It's relatively painless. I use the Skin Lab instead of a shower sometimes. Excellent. We have our first rooms. More to come, I'm sure. Uh, I think there's still something missing. As we're a healthcare organization, we will need some doctors. Pop open the recruitment menu on the left-hand bar and review your various candidates. And there they are, Director. You can see their name, species, and traits that are unique to them. We currently have old and human candidates, and are restricted to them for reasons which I can assure you are culturally sensitive. I'm certain you'll come to find the unique traits of the galaxy's different sapiens particularly helpful for your work. Choose a candidate when you're ready. You can place that newly hired doctor wherever you like, even directly in a room, which will assign it as their primary task. Excellent work. Your new staff will set about their tasks in your rooms, aiding our soon-to-be patients. Doctors gain experience as they work. And more experienced doctors are, as you'd imagine, better at things. Due to capitalism, staff require payment on a regular basis, so do be sure not to overhire and inflate your expenses. An excellent set of rooms and doctors, Director, that will surely excel at treating patients. You should be commended for your ambition. Speaking of which, your legally mandated commendation, known in human society as payment, is yours to claim. We are ready to open the hospital. Let's see if we can't get our patients back to their rent pods in one piece. Ready to begin? And away we go. Time to treat some of these poor fellows. Patients are arriving now, Director. They shall scuttle about our hospital and deposit their various detritus within its once sterile halls. Humans, we love them. They are us, sometimes. Not always, though. Humans are a lot of things. And one of those things is that they're social beings. They'll improve our reputation whenever they complete treatments. Also, they've accidentally engineered a dystopia where corporations have become kingdoms, so that's great. Uh, sorry, that's a conversation for another time, I guess. <laughs> The Ode are a curious bunch. Although they're all clones, they revere old age, competing with each other to see who can live in any one body the longest. Once they retired from their dreams of galactic empire, they developed an odd fascination with humanity. It began with crop circles and cow abductions, and ended up in appropriating the most problematic parts of 1950s Earth culture, surf rock and traditional gender roles. Ah, it appears we've received a patient with a shattered arm. Let's inspect them and see if we can't mend their appendage. 
guess it's over. Behold the patient panel. I've highlighted the condition track. This shows the patient's condition and the rooms they'll need to be treated in. This fellow's condition requires them to be reboned, and for that, we'll need a boning chamber. The boning chamber. A retrofitted mining machine which chomps fresh, minty new skeletons directly into our patients. An assistant engineer fitted the schematic with internal cameras for personal reasons. That'll teach me to poach staff from Salazar. Anyway, that's all fixed, and it's mostly safe. Mostly. You may find yourself running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can expand to other nearby areas by selecting them and paying. You may find yourself running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can expand to other nearby areas by selecting them and paying a small fee. Uh, to whom I'm I'm not sure. Ah, the boning chamber. A fine room indeed. Best to ensure we have staff to operate it, of course. Well, now that we've got a few treatment rooms up and running, let's talk about keeping our staff and patients happy. Let's inspect one of our doctors to grasp the full extent of their needs. Uh, director, uh, that is a room. Through this panel, we can see the various qualities and needs that define our doctor. This is their mood. A happy doctor will perform their job efficiently, whereas an unhappy doctor is more likely to make mistakes. If their mood gets too low, they may simply leave. You can see the various thoughts and feelings impacting their mood here. For example, witnessing the death of a patient may result in a degree of momentary sadness. Physical needs, like hunger and energy, are fulfilled by vending machines, staff lounges, toilets, and so on. By the looks of things, this individual needs to unwind in a staff lounge. To prevent our staff from descending into absolute madness, we'll want to build a staff lounge. We should also ensure we provide both staff and patients with places to sit, uh, something to eat, and toilets in which they may relieve themselves. This one's pretty straightforward. It's a staff lounge. Staff will go in there and lounge. There's a fire pit and everything. We considered a mindfulness cube, but... People found the idea nightmarish, so they get this instead. I don't get it. I love the cube. I'll go in there sometimes just to scream at the walls. <laughs> Great de-stressor.
The required facilities have been installed and the number of organics who have relieved themselves in the hospital has slipped under the bar for legal concern. The required facilities have been installed and the number of organics who have relieved themselves in the hospital has slipped under the bar for legal concern. Bravo, Director. You have provided everything organics need for a state of mild comfort. Director, it's time to meet your marginally useful maintenance crew. This is a Medibot. They've been purchased at low cost and reprogrammed to clean up various forms of vomit. Additionally, they can repair the rooms in our hospital should the need for such repairs arise. Uh, the robot is waving. Medi, are you waving? Are you waving your awful little hands? Apologies, Director. Uh, Medi wishes to speak to you. Uh, not to worry. I doubt it has much to say. Hello, new Director. It's me, Medi. Heel says I'm a toaster and that I might actually be useful if I was dropped in someone's bathtub. Uh, uh, yes, uh, that comment is slightly off out of context, Director, but you may rest assured that Medi has no clue what's going on and will execute its janitorial functions to a consistent standard. That's right. Also, Heel keeps saying I'm a fake boy and being programmed to imitate humanity is a disgrace. He's my best friend. Medi, you don't have any friends because you're not real. I do, because you're my friend. And so is this giant creature who's about to eat the station. Good Lord, what is that? Hello there. I think it's okay, Heel. It's just a really big alien. First of all, Medi, it's a colossal. Secondly, please refrain from use of the term alien in reference to non-human sapiens. Director, the alien is somehow hailing us, though not on any identifiable frequency. It's almost as though it's directly pushing buttons inside the station systems. And in the absence of any better ideas, perhaps it's best to uh, pick up the phone. Electronic and eukaryotic persons of Galactica, I am Bazanoros Thorgoria. Baz is also fine, in the interests of brevity. I developed these painful glowing spots about, oh, 4,000 years ago. I wondered if you could come and have a look at me. This is exciting. I mean, just look at the size of him. And he's talking to us? That certainly hasn't happened before. My inner biologist is screaming to learn whatever we can about him. So I'd like to help out. We should dispatch a shuttle to take a biopsy. Open the away mission panel that I've highlighted. You'll get updates to away mission status there. And it's also what you'll use to dispatch shuttles. It's away. Our shuttle will go collect the sample from Baz. Won't be a problem. It should feel like scratching an itch. Ooh, ooh, that feels nice. A bit like scratching an old itch. Told ya. The shuttle just returned with the sample we took. Hello. It'll now be unloaded from the shuttle in a canister. AI-driven medical devices, which behave much like patients do. We'll need to send it to diagnosis to figure out our next steps. The canister should be with you now. If you ever need an update on them or on the task you're on, you can always open the objectives window. Director, we'll want that canister to make it through its diagnosis as quickly as possible. Fortunately, you can set it as a priority. Tap the priority button here to make sure the canister is sorted as rapidly as we can. Here we can see the status of our current away mission and any steps required to fulfill it.
Prioritizing a patient in this manner will place it at the front of any queue it joins. You should use this for, well, anything you like, really, but emergencies in particular. diagnosis is complete. Having a look at the data, this doesn't seem so different from other skin conditions, so our usual treatment should work. Now it's time for canisters to go in the other direction. We're gonna fill them up with chemicals in the skin lab and then shove them into a shuttle. You can track the progress of all canisters in your hospital by reviewing the away mission panel. Time and quality are of the essence. Fingers crossed this actually works or we might all be going to jail. Yes, Mary. Uh, those are vomit tongues. They'll bite any sapiens they encounter, causing their victim to evacuate their guts directly onto the floor. Director, Mary is perfectly capable of dispatching these vomit tongues himself, but if you fancy it, you can use these station's coils to eject the pests from our mortal coil. <laughs> it's uh, just a little uh, death-based pun for your private enjoyment. That's a Solark. Uh, Director, these critters are entirely harmless, and will deposit a large number of credits into our account when you catch them. That's why they can open accounts of their own. I'm... The banking sector is a disaster.
treatment canisters are all prepared. Now we just need to deliver them. The team's departed on their mission. Hopefully Baz doesn't explode or anything. Way team has returned, and our boy is already looking way better. Let's check in on him. Thank you. It felt like there was something different about you. There's the proof. That was itching for a hot minute. Before I go, I collect trinkets. Things traded or earned. I find these exchanges build interesting bonds between cultures. Have some of this stabilizing solution as thanks. I'll see you again soon. It's always a pleasure to make interesting friends. Well, we just treated a giant talking space whale. Great first day on the job, Director. I'm going to hold my breath until my heart rate comes down. Director, the stabilizing solution Baz gave us has remarkable properties. It'll fully replenish the health of any patients you use it on. Rather handy if there are specific people you'd rather didn't, uh, uh die. Our goal is to provide the best possible healthcare service, and we're constantly evaluated by a system known as hospital rating. Open the hospital rating panel now, and let's have a browse. Welcome to the hospital rating screen. Here, we can review everything that's wrong with your hospital. Not to worry, should it be terribly deficient, there are plenty of pro tips to explore in these various tabs. On this summary screen, we can review any common thoughts and complaints, as well as admire the potential rewards you can earn. Hello again, Galactica. I thought I'd pop back in and offer you some of my wares, as thanks for what you did earlier. In exchange for some of your credits, I'll give you one of these fine items. There's always a freebie. And today, I've also got a Medibot. Picked him up out in space a while ago. He was just spinning, really. Purchase an item and I'll transport it over to your inventory. Right you are. Cheers. An item we've acquired from our large new friend is a room upgrade. Place it in a room and witness its powerful effects. Ah, one of our doctors has leveled up. Let's take a closer look. Select them when you're ready. Level 1 doctors will start out as trainees, and upon reaching level 2, you're able to assign them an expertise, which will allow them to work far more effectively in the chosen room. Select the glowing button to continue. Here you can see the options for this doctor's expertise, which are based on the rooms they've worked in while in your hospital. Choose one to continue. a fine choice. Try to assign experts to the relevant rooms. It'll help keep your patients alive and your workforce content. Director, something we haven't yet covered is Medibot modes. Hey, that's me! Yes, it is, Medi. Well done. Uh, Director, select a Medibot to continue. Here we can see the configuration of this Medibot. Adjusting this will focus them on specific tasks. You can also use this window to change the appearance of your Medibots in the event that you share that particular fascination with our previous director.
And with that, we've completed our orientation protocol. Excellent work. Director, we're receiving a call from Dorian Salazar, the CEO of Salazar. This is Dorian Salazar, CEO. With which space creature am I speaking? Mr. Salazar, a very fine day to you, sir. You're through to the director's office. If you're... A robot? Well, that's a daring hire. Listen well, computer boy, to my terrible problems. My workers were performing an orbital trash discharge, and in a totally unforeseeable disaster, they were coated in unknown sludges. After they'd completed their assigned shifts, an intern noticed that their bodies had warped into some manner of transparent slime. Here, then, is my offer to your fine company. If you're able to keep some of my workers alive for their shifts tomorrow, I'll send you some space money. Of course. We'll send over a contract, and then we can... No, that won't be necessary. Good luck to you, and goodbye. Well, that's... that's delightful. Uh, Director, it sounds like we're in for an influx of emergency patients. Director, the emergency patients from Saladon are now arriving, and they're in a wretched state. We'll be lucky if most of them don't drop dead in the corridor. Nice place. Let's save as many as we can. Be sure to prioritize them so they're seen to as quickly as possible. And I think now's the time to use that stabilizing solution we received from Baz.
Rest in peace to that plucky fellow. I pretend to be angry about their excruciating death, but I think we all knew it was on the cards. This is Dorian Salazar, expressing some legally mandated gratitude that you managed to save one of those workers. Their colleagues appreciate you. Keep it up and so on. That's three insurance payouts now, which is more than the amount of testicles I have. A very reliable metric for when things aren't going too well. Hello? Help me. Their flesh was slopping off in clumps, but it would have been nice to have a functional shift tomorrow. I'll pay you for the chaps who are still alive, and then you're out on your asses. Space whales, rival corporations, eccentric robots. I hope you found all this educational, Director. You've passed with flying colors. I'm so pleased we got to you before Salazon did. Welcome aboard. We're gonna do great things together. You can work on this hospital for as long as you like, but seeing as you were the right person for the job, I got us another contract about oh, 15 minutes ago. It's for a music festival, and it sounds like it'll be a wild ride. I'll see you there whenever you're ready. And director, great work. And we're off to the big leagues. The Burning Moon Festival is operated by an old fellow, Leonard Moon, who's a notorious eccentric. Music, chemicals, various other indulgences. A lot goes on. I went to one of these things once. I nearly got wiped out by a flying piece of tungsten. Expect to have a real mess on your hands with this one. Good luck, Director. Director, lovely to see you. I'm just in time to not get blamed for the terrible accident that just happened. Your year-end bonus is secure. We've been contracted to provide medical support for the Burning Moon Festival. Named for, uh, well, I suppose you can just look out the window. Wow, it's so bright! Hugh, why are they setting the moon on fire? Medi, it's just one of life's many thrilling mysteries. Get them on. Our contract is for the duration of the festival, which is split between various acts. I'll pop that information up on the objectives window. We're expecting calls from Leonard Moon, the festival's owner, as the revelries develop. Wow, man, that's a turnout. I'm gonna give a big wet hug to all the planets and people in the galaxy. If you don't set something on fire, I am gonna kick you out. All right, love you. Bye. Yes, that'd be him. Wonderful chap. A very clever and handsome fellow, by all accounts. I uh, never met him myself. 
Well, hey, um, so things are already popping off down here, and some kind of metal situation has happened, but not in a good way. We kind of want to get this cleared up before people start getting spooked that the festival is dangerous or something. So yeah, uh, oh, 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 open up when you can, please. Thanks a bunch. It does look rather gnarly down there, Director. Though, now that I think of it, Ms. Orion has been working on a rather illuminating new piece of technology. Laser surgery. Scalpels weren't cutting it, so to speak, so we switched over to high-intensity mining lasers to handle some of the uh, crustier conditions out there. As it turns out, having industrial energy devices blasting away at your skin made people anxious. So I also took the initiative to make it a kind of immersive musical experience. Kind of like dressing up an MRI machine as a pirate ship. I'm not sure how Ms. Orion managed to turn lasers into a healthcare solution, but here we are. Let's get one built and you can open up the hospital when you're ready. Our patients await, Director. Are we ready?
There are a lot of people howling in pain, Director, and they very much... Excellent. I'll let Mr. Moon that we're operating and ready to receive patients from the festival. Oh, hey, you guys are open now. Apparently, that's that's good, actually, because people were, like, dying down, down here. My security guards are going to try and get them up to you, but a lot of them are very heavy from having metal all over their face, so we'll get them to you when we can. Thanks. Hey, um, so we got all the people who got encased in liquid metal rounded up, and they've been, like, aggressively shoved into your shovels. Uh, so they're on their way now. Please fix them. Uh, we need their post-festival reviews for our socials. Thanks! Yes, Mary. Uh, it appears that some of them are species we've not yet encountered. I'm sure Ms. Orion will be in touch with the dossier. The Di and I are a plant-based species. They're often loners, vagrants, artists, explorers. And their family dynamic has a lot to do with their isolation. They're created by a living planet. It won't talk to them. It won't give them purpose. They just pop out of the ground without a reason for their existence. Despite their solitary nature, other species really, really like being around them. Pheromones or something, who knows? Kuba Bali. These hearty sauroids are patient, precise, and durable. They rarely need a break, and it takes their bladders an almost supernaturally long time to fill up. So there's that. They adore order and live in discreet tribes or with their own rituals, which have been brought into a cultural structure known as concatenated ordering. The exact details of how that all works aren't entirely understood, but it seems to work for them, so more power to them.
guess it's over. Nice to see you all again. See if there's anything you fancy. I hope it works. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> A fine choice. Good choice. Thanks for your patronage, Galactica. Until next time, Galactica!
you guys are just lasering the metal off our crowd? That's so cool, I'm not even sure if I care if they die. I guess we hired the right people, huh? Hey there! are better now, which is great. Also, they were in the cheap seats, so if you kind of want to take a break, I'm sure it'll be fine. healthcare stuff you guys are doing. I know all their names and I haven't bought any merch yet, so we'll see where this goes. In the event that you guys do a great job, hey, wow, great job. Thanks for doing uh, whatever it is you did. Uh, I'm sure it'll be great for the festival. Thanks, here's money. Um, goodbye. We're receiving another call from our client. There's an issue with a singer, apparently. Well, hey, it's me again. Um, so one of our headline acts, Twiggy Pop or something, is sick, like, big time. She's already finished her set, so it's not the worst thing if she dies, I guess. It wouldn't be great for our media coverage, though, so please keep her alive for, like, two hours or so. Thanks. Yes. What a delightful fellow. Uh, director, when it comes to VIP treatments, the faster we treat the patient concerned, the better our rewards will be. It's probably worth pulling out all the stops to make sure Twiggy gets the best and fastest treatment possible. Twiggy Pop has arrived! 
I think she makes the best harsh noise in the galaxy. Merit, you have no idea who this person is. Welcome to the station, Mum. Hey, mate. So, looks like I ran into Festicrosis bacteria at the festival, and it's eaten off about half my face. Any chance you could help? Of course. We'll get your ailment seen to as quickly as we can. Assuming we have seats, you're welcome to sit in one of them. Uh, okay. Thanks. Uh, why does everything smell of chlorine? Nice. Don't know where I got that. Ooh, good one. Thought you'd like that one. Perfect. Long may it serve you. What's wrong with her? Oh, some kind of flesh-eating bacteria? Okay, great. Uh, keep that to yourselves, please. Uh, I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened. I'm off back home. See you soon. Thanks for keeping me alive and everything. The music scene is a mess of dodgy contracts and corporate control, and I'd rather do something more meaningful with my life. <laughs> Seems like you guys know what you're doing, and I used to be a doctor, so I want to join up. I've sent your machine my CV. Hey, director, I'm Twiggy Pop. I started life as a doctor, working in the core regions. Tough gig, but it's made me pretty good at the job. Also, people really like my singing. Not sure why, but it makes anyone nearby better at their work. More focused. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Thanks, little guy. All right, I'll go get changed. Ooh, any chance of a cappuccino? I don't think that exists, but I'll try. Director, we've acquired our first consultant. They're permanent additions to your team, traveling with us from hospital to hospital. Let's open the consultant window to bring Twiggy Pop in now. This is our consultant roster, which will allow us to bring consultants into the hospital. Let's bring Twiggy into the hospital now. And there she is. Hey, Director. Glad I can get down to work. Mitty, how's that coffee looking? I'm sorry, Twiggy. But Hill says coffee is illegal and that we'd all die. I said nothing of the sort. Director, consultants are quite different from other staff yeah. members. Let's inspect Twiggy to find out more. 
Twiggy, like all consultants, is a remarkably effective clinician who can expertly operate any of our rooms. As consultants gain experience, they gain powerful, unique skills. And sometimes you'll need to make hard choices as to which skills they acquire. You can see the skills Twiggy has in her skill tree. And that's everything you need to know about that. Uh, let's get cracking, shall we? Hey, um, I got a message from Twiggy that everything went okay with her treatment, which sounds good. Uh, and also that she's quit the music business, so I have seven executives here who are using circular breathing to shriek non-stop like a ghoul. Ask her um, not to do that, maybe. Thanks. Help me. Director, it seems Twiggy Pop has some news about a new condition at the festival. Hey, Director, I just got a weird message from my old gaffer. It sounds like people are falling prey to some kind of psychosis. A fear of space flight or something? They're on their way and they're just constantly screaming inside the ambulance. Ah, a psychological condition. Ms. Orion's been preparing for this eventuality. She'll be in touch with the details. The Dreamarium! So, we arranged a trade deal with the planet ruled by psychic clams. In exchange for an unknown quantity of an unknown substance, they've lent us their services as therapists, basically, with a doctor as an intermediary. These creatures can dive into the depths of our patients' minds, rearrange their neural networks, and slurp out any lingering negative emotion. No issue so far. And the treatments have proven incredibly effective in testing. Sure would be nice to remember what our contract with the clams was, though. Sounds like it might do the trick. Once we've got some of those rooms set up, I'll dive right in. Could be kind of trippy. Some patients with the aforementioned space phobia have arrived. Oh, wait, wait. How about space fright? Huh? <laughs> Seems like you guys enjoy a good pun around here. Well, <laughs> I just think that's wonderful. Space fright. Uh, spectacular work, Miss Pop. She is heel. Oh, yes. No, not at all. Space fright. Hey guys, um, so some random decided to weld rocket booster to some asteroids and I couldn't stop them. And now Space Rocket's headed straight towards your station. Uh, sorry and uh, good luck and all that stuff. Director, it looks like the festival isn't the only place to find rock and roll. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Uh, we've taken on significant damage from the impact. Bonjour, mes amis. <laughs> Love. <laughs> A fine choice. I hope some of this stuff comes in handy.
all the best to you. I'll be back in a bit. You use a clam to suck out their bad vibes? Wow, I wasted so much money on therapy. I hope it's legal. I'm not a narc. Mostly, but yeah, um, cover your ass. It seems like the psychic clam stuff's going pretty okay. You know, I was married to someone who thrived on absorbing <laughs> negative energy. Um, that came out wrong. That's supposed to be a burn. Never mind.
That's gone excellently, Director. The Dreamarium is working a charm, and none of the patients seem to have any permanent loss of function. The room is now approved for long-term use. Hey, sorry about the, uh, the ex-wife thing. I've actually never been in a relationship, and I don't know why I lie to you about it. Um, can I come up there? There's stuff I'd like your mollusk to make not happen in my brain anymore. Shockingly, it's Leonard Moon again, talking about another ailing musician. Oh my god, there's another whole musician who is now dying for no reason except to make this whole festival a waking nightmare. Can you fix him, please? His name is Clem Bansig, and he's a coital tyrannosaurus, which, which probably has something to do with all this, but I don't judge, and neither should you, or anybody. If I want to slop around with roadies until my flaps catch fire, that's up to me and the creator. Clem, I mean, if, um, if Clem wants to do those things. Look, just get him back to us, okay? Um, there's too much on the line for it all to be taken down by Bansig's love of the fizzy pump. I'll give you lots of money and goodbye. Hello. Clem Banzig am badly diseased from my many salacious adventures. Actually, sir, it seems like you might have just had too many energy drinks. Oh, uh, uh, I didn't think you'd actually know. Please, please, don't, don't, don't tell anybody. Naturally. Yes, patient confidentiality is vital in our line of work. Clem got diagnosed? An addiction to energy drinks, huh? I don't know why I thought it was something venereal. Yeah, branding, probably. Honestly, I don't even know if Coopers have anything down there. They could be like mushrooms or something. Hiya! Tell you where I got you, but I hope it helps. Mm, nice. Ooh, good one. Lovely, jubbly. Good choice. A 
hope it all goes well. again. Yeah, yeah. Which I do all the time, just so you know. Good for you, sir. Best of luck. Jazzy times at the festival. Our new pal Leonard Moon is shrinking down the phone about lights or some such business. Hey, are you medical guys any good at the cyber? Because we have issues with the cyber. And if you don't do something, I'm going to have a panic attack. Mr. Moon, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that our contract covers. It covers it. I put it in there. Holograms are just as important as the musicians to me, man. They're people. It's in the contract. You have to believe me. Please. Director, holograms can't be covered because they don't actually exist. That said, it, it's probably worth doing this so that our client doesn't cork it before he can pay us. If we're going to do health care on the lights, our best shot is to prepare some treatment canisters. What we'll need to do is take the canisters, cart them over to laser surgery, and shoot them with the lasers until they're so full of lasers that we can do health care on the lights. <clears throat> the canisters are entering our hospital now. are so out? Oh no, I think I'm dying. Not like this. No. No. Ah! As, hmm. I'm, I'm sure he's fine, Director. Treatment canisters are ready to be delivered down to the festival. I've been talking to them a bit, and they seem kind of weird, but nice. You've been talking to them. I'm fairly sure that nobody's home. Please help me. Yeah, we've been sharing data. Being a motorized tube seems hard on people. How long will they be gone? Well, uh, the energies involved will totally atomize them on delivery, so, you know, a while. Oh. Yes, yes, terrible. Uh, wave goodbye to your friends, Maddie. 
and away they go. What a thrill. Oh good, you're still here. Uh, do I seem any younger? I'm in a new body and I feel gorgeous. Anyway, we see your canisters coming and they're full of lasers. Uh, great, good luck. And somehow, Leonard Moon has returned. What a thrilling twist. You've officially saved my ass. The holograms are back on and everyone is binding and stuff. Ah, uh, thanks. Thought you'd like that one. Love. Right you are. Perfect. Much appreciated. Leonard Moon is having old problems by the sounds of it, and not just personally. Oh, hey! Hi, um, so you ever have one of those days where it feels like an evil spirit is trying to harass you into a psychotic break? Anyway, um, all four members of the band, the Exolodes, are about to die soon from burns they decided to get as a prank, I guess? And if you can't heal them, uh, please just eat them or whatever you people like to do. I'm, like, totally done with this. Thanks. them go. I've already received a mountain of HR complaints, but I'm sure our staff will switch gears once they realize how good they suddenly are at doing the healthcare. This is an entirely irrelevant line, and if it's still in the game by the time of the demo, I apologize and hope you're having a wonderful day. Wow! This is amazing! Cool spot, man! I am dying big time! Yeah, it's always about you, right? Don't you care that Bim is in an anxiety spiral and has no toilet to be in? Whoa! That's a harsh and unhealthy form of mind reading and catastrophizing that I'm just, like, not into. It's fine, Tim. I'm sure I'll find somewhere to hang out. You've got to stop letting Jim walk over you all the time, man. I'll get you a max caffeine, and then you can chill out a little. Bro, I am not great with this common drama triangle situation. Whoa, look at that pile of fluids on the floor. I'm gonna drink that, like, right now. Hmm.
It's great I'm still alive. I feel good, like, physically. Do you guys have any stuff for being in a dark spiral of anxiety and self-doubt? Electrocute my brain or something? Afraid not. Good day, sir. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Bye. Man, I feel so good. I might even try and raise my arms above my head again. Thanks, help people. This has been really pretty okay. You're entirely welcome, my elderly friend. I look forward to hearing oh. your performance. Wow. Really? Good luck to you, Mr. Clyde. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Check myself out. I haven't been in this good shape for like 300 years now. Thanks for the new mojo, health people. Hello there! I hope you're all doing well. Have a browse. Whoa! I thought I was screwed, but then these ape people did a whole bunch of hell stuff to my awful body! And now, I can do music again! WILD! Oh man, you got them all fixed already? Okay, that's actually really great, because I was starting to wonder if I should just nuke the festival and, like, flee to the Outer Rim. Hey, thank you. This has, um, really made my day. You lot take care of yourselves. Leonard Moon is in a tears over a situation with his headlining musician. No! No! The final act, the headliner, the colossal musician, they got a disease that melted their skin off. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Oh my god. I think I'm dying. Am I dying? I feel like I'm being electrocuted. You've got to fix this. Please! Hello, Galacticare. Well, hello there. I don't believe we've been introduced. Gazria, for the purposes of this event, Baz has a lot to say about you. Seems to think you might be capable of great things. Sorry for the inconvenience of my affliction, 
But I wanted to see if you're all he's made you out to be. It's quite funny to screw around with Leonard Moon. And I figured that having his headliner get half consumed would give his heart a real kick. Oh, this does hurt rather a lot more than I thought it would, though. Having your skin rapidly eaten away isn't my idea of an interesting night. Any chance of a hand? Well, I, uh, I certainly didn't see why not. Well, this has turned out to be rather interesting. Word gets around, eh? Let's hope this process continues to work. And as before, we'll need to dispatch a shuttle to take a tissue sample and from there figure out the best way to treat the Colossal's unusual flesh. The sample has been collected and the ambulance is on its way back. Diagnosis canisters will be deployed shortly. We've just got done analysing the sample and the damage is pretty gnarly. She's being devoured by the same bacteria I was. If we can run canisters through skin lab and laser surgery, we should be able to patch her up. The treatment canisters have arrived. Time to get to work. Yes, uh, uh, pardon? Uh, the treatment canisters? The colossal? Laser surgery? Yeah. Oh yes, yes, fine. Uh, terribly sorry. <laughs> Paper for a new fusion train design was just released. Uh, rather distracting. Oh, wait, what? Nothing at all. Uh, good luck in there and so on. Having a good one. Hello. That should be a decent range today. Don't know where I got that. 
I hope it works. A fair trade. Always a pleasure. The canisters are all good to go. Spectacular! Let's get them shipped off. If you guys had done any worse in treating that colossal, I think you would have all gone to jail. But whatever. I won't tell anyone about this if you don't tell anyone about that music executive who tripped and smashed his head open. Deal. Thanks, I guess. I'm out. Thank you for sticking with us. We're about to blow the biggest damn hole in this burning moon since the festival began. Get ready to ring in the end times with all the other delinquents out there. Because it's fun. Because it's wild. And just because we f can. Behold! That's, uh, that's quite something. I'm sure everyone's fine, Director. I, uh, I suppose I'll update Galactica's chart of the system to, uh, remove the moon. Well, that's, uh, all you're up for, Director. I and the other staff can take care of the after-party for you if you'd rather head off. Our next contract awaits. Otherwise, we'd certainly be very grateful for your expertise. Whatever you choose, well done today. It was a pleasure to watch you at work. Thanks for playing the demo. Make sure to put this on your wish list or I will be sad. <laughs>